uh, Moe, you got a lot of points out there. Um, how, was it, how was it feeling just running the floor in front of a crowd and getting some, uh, you know, hearing the band? Um, you know, I think it felt good, you know, finally being back in front of in front of fans after a whole year, you know, COVID game being canceled, you know, quiet arenas. I think just the energy of the fans being here and everything like that was just really fun out there, you know. So I think we just all fed off of that energy and we just played. No, I, know, I noticed you had some threes in the first half and then a block shot or two after that. Is that, is that your game, you know, uh, your virtual player like that most of the time? Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like we do like a lot of things on the floor, you know, and I'm still improving on my shooting. Uh, but blocking shots, usually, that's like my main thing, you know. But I think here I've had the freedom to, you know, work on other areas of my game, putting the ball on the floor a little bit more and everything like that. So. Is that the area you work on the ball on the floor? Um, not really. I just say here I have the freedom to do that. I, I feel like I've always been able to do that because I feel like here playing on the wing, playing the floor, like I have more of an opportunity to do that. So it just feels, I feel more comfortable. Well, you're known a little bit more for your defense. Did you come into this game today, try to scrimmage, trying to prove that you were a you know, good offensive player too? Um, Not really. I just kind of came out just wanting to have fun. You know, like, I mean, when I go into games, I don't really think about, you know, going out and getting a certain amount of blocks. It's more so a reaction thing. And same with the off offensively. Like, you know, there was times I was looking for shots because I knew I, I'd be open. But, you know, it wasn't more so trying to go for offense instead of defense. I think I just let the game come to me, and, you know, that's how it was ended. Femi, as a, as a point guard, how would you compare today's performance by your guys, your, your team, compared to what you've seen so far in practice? Yes, every day everybody makes a shot maker. Um, I'm looking for guys that's open. I see Mo hitting shots, see everybody hitting shots. So I was used, I knew this was going to happen today. Everybody being ready to play. So I was expecting this. Did everybody, was, was the effort today or the pro performance today better than what you've seen so far or about the same or, or what? <clears throat> it's about the same. We, we got beat up, a lot of hard practices. There's a lot of energy, more fight. So yeah, I can't see the stuff behind doors that we usually do, but Today shows us the things we mostly. So you didn't show your whole, your whole game today, huh? Whole game, we got to keep some of it. I to say it's like a like a you guys practice harder than you play type of situation. Definitely, every day we come, we compete for the spots. Everybody's playing hard. There's more competition. A couple words here and there, but always love. Jeff talked about how you guys are sophomores, what y'all went through last year with just nothing being consistent, everything being abrupt. How has it helped you guys come together, just that class? And there's a bunch of you guys, and you know how you guys may interact just on the court during practice and off the court when you guys are just being student athletes. Helps us a lot because the COVID year, we couldn't really go outside, so we usually go to each other's rooms and play games and just talk to each other. So we always had a feel. So now we walk into classes. We always have like the brotherhood. We always making sure we're watching each other back and talking to each other. So that, that helped us actually a lot, even though it was bad since the fans didn't come out, but we are ready for it now. You're not the oldest guy on, on, the, on the team, Femi, but do you feel like a leader now? You've been here a year, and you're the point guard, and you've got to run things out there on the floor? I feel like a leader, especially Jamarius is helping me out being more vocal and talking. So I'm stepping it up with talking and make sure I'm huddling with the guys and competing and talking to them and putting them in the right spot. So this is, this, I always had it in me, but at the same time, new, just over talking and making sure everything's good. So I do feel like I'm a leader. What did Jamarius contribute before his injury? Uh, he contributed. He made sure he put everybody to hard work. He always wanted to motivate people to do better and show us his why, like why you're playing basketball and who you do it for. And he's always, he's a great vocal leader. He over talks. Even when people don't want to hear it, he still pushes us and be like always an uh, extra voice in our ear. You guys shot a lot of threes today. Is that something you want to do when the regular season rolls around? Uh, I... It's really hard to say. If it's open, we take them. If it's not, we, we're going to pass up to get a little layup or mid-range, but we, we're looking to become a better three-point shooting team. You guys look like you were doing a lot more focus, and this is for both of you, well, like a lot more half-court basketball. Last year, you know, there was a lot, I felt like there was a lot, a lot of fast breaks. Do you guys feel like you want to control games and work more possessions? Do you guys want to stretch the court, use your athleticism? Has there been talk about like where your balance will be this year? Um, well, we kind of, we're trying to pride ourselves this year on defense and getting stops. So, you know, if we get in these stops and, and making these defensive plays, we're going to have to capitalize on it. So, you know, that may be why it seemed like, you know, we're running more stuff. And yeah, you know, we're just trying to make sure we get the right shot, you know, we're really um, focused.
focusing on spacing the floor, moving the ball, and always moving, you know. So we're just swinging the ball, just cutting, screening until we feel like we find the right shot. Did you guys learn anything new about this team from being out, you know, on the floor in front of a crowd, you know, in kind of a more game-like environment? I say no. I know how everybody plays and what they like to do and what shots they want to do. So I was expecting for that to happen in the crowd. Um, I just liked everybody in the crowd showing energy. It feels good as a team to see everybody in the crowd and competing. So. Well, how does it feel for you coming from a smaller school in the, into the ACC? You were going and graduating into big time. Mm -hmm. Um, well, this whole transition was crazy, you know, just coming out here and just seeing how the arena was, you know, um, just everything is just, you know, wasn't that hard of a transition, but, you know, just seeing everything for what it is, you know, and even just this small crowd being here, I can only imagine how this will be when it's full, you know, so it'll be, I feel like, you know, it's a bigger stage, but, you know, I'm, I don't shy away from that. You, you know feel like you're ready for the bigger stage? Yeah. Femi, John showed some flashes today just of what he's able to do. Just how good is it to see him on the court producing at that level again? It feels great to see him on the court and competing. I know he always had it in him. He's actually becoming more mature and handling situations right. So uh, it means a lot that John comes back on our team. He's a uh, post guy, always strong. He battles down there, and I'm happy to have him back. Looks like you guys were feeding him a lot too, getting him, just getting him involved. How much has that been a focal point of you guys in practice and what you want to do? It's been it's been the key point. He's he's a big guy. His post he can show pose, back down hooks. He, he's a good all around player. So just putting him in the game and let him score and get some positions is going to help us back on defense. He's going to want to talk more and do more for us. And I feel like even if he doesn't, even if he decides to and doesn't look to score, you know, teams know how, how much of a threat he is. So that shrinks the defense in, and he's a great passer. He's always looking to kick out, you know, and that helps everyone else around just move the ball and get better shots. Now, in recent years, Pitt hasn't had too many big men to, to, to attack like that. But now you got Yumo, you got John, you got Dan, you got guys that are going to be working the paint. How much of an emphasis is that for this new team to see, like, hey, this is going to be effective. Like last year, I mean, you guys had to run a lot of, like, you know, four guard sets, you know, sending them out there. How much different is that this year? And also, what was it like being part of a group like that? It actually means a lot because now we play other ACC schools, the five men got to come out on the perimeter and we can space it out. And they actually have to guard instead of hiding on the block and making it easier for them. So it actually means a lot we have those guys coming out on the perimeter and doing stuff they do. I think it just makes us really versatile. You know, we have so many people who can who can uh, pull and plug in different places, you know, and having more of these uh, bigs and wings like me, Dan, and Chris, you know, we can really stretch the floor. But at the same time, if you want to go small ball, you can move us to the five, you know. So I think it just makes us more of a versatile team, especially on the defensive end. You know, we have the extra length and we can all move our feet, you know, so it's easier to switch and play passing lanes. Well, how'd you end up at Pitt? Um, I mean, to me, it was kind of like a no-brainer. You know, I had um, I had a couple of schools I was looking at, but you know, once I had my Zoom meeting with the with the coaching staff and everything, they told me what they were about in the culture, and you know, obviously the history that um, Coach K for Coach O'Toole and all those dudes, you know, players they've coached and all those kind of things, you know, kind of became a no-brainer to me. You know, this would be the right fit for me, not only to to play but to help develop my game to the next level. Has Pitt kind of been what you expected from it, or is there anything? More, honestly, more. You know, I expected, you know, it's coming from the American East ACC, I expected a lot, but, you know, it's been more, you know, especially on the court. I feel like in my short time that I got here, it was probably around May, so now I feel like <coughs> my game has just improved so much, and I just feel more comfortable on the floor. Was, was Pitt the highest level school that was recruiting you? Yeah, I mean, I had, I had, um, I think I had, one other in the in the ACC, and I had two in the in the Big Ten, and then Mountain West and a, and a couple of other conferences. But you know, I wanted to make sure I was in the Power Five conference, mm -hmm. especially the ACC, considering it's more of an athletic conference. And I feel like that's somewhere where I'll be able. To... What ACC school was after you? Um, Boston College. Yeah. Jeff talked about how <coughs> for everybody it's an adjustment. You know, you know, you're, this is your first year of team, but also Femi. Last year, you guys did all your classes virtually, so now like they're having to like teach you guys to campus. What's it been like? You know, you guys for your class still kids have to figure things out. Like you weren't just here last year, and then for you, Mo, you know, you're getting here and learning that along with them. 
I'm actually, when I walk around the class, the first couple of weeks, I had to ask people, students, do you know where is this, Lawrence Hall? Do you know where the room is at? I didn't know where to sit. So I always sat in the front because that's the best <laughs> seat that's open. Everybody got the back. So it's been, it's been new. I'm enjoying the process. The lectures, I, I can't believe when I sat down in a lecture for two hours, I, was, I can't believe I made it. Like, I just made it in college. Just seeing everybody in the lecture. I thought that was on movies. Felt great. Was there any trash talking going on today on the court? A little bit. Nobody could really hear it, but it was funny trash talking. Yeah. For both of you, this time of year is really about connecting with each other. For you all to find each other at such a high level, how important is that from this game and taking it forward? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was good, you know, I feel like we did a lot of good things today on the floor, you know, we was able to to really take what we've been working on in practice all these weeks to finally, you know, translate it out there, you know, and it's good preparation for our next scrimmage, you know, come back in tomorrow for practice, watch film, you know, they'll teach us a few things, correct us in certain areas we need to work on, but, you know, I think it was just good just to be out here and just playing, you know. Definitely. Showing what we can do. Feels good for everybody to come back and watch. I was kind of bummed out that I didn't get no free throws. I wanted to show everybody, <laughs> but it's going to happen eventually. You're going to be a better free, free throw shooter? Free throw shoot. I was trying to show it out today. I was trying to show a couple <laughs> two for two, four for fours, but it's What's your longest out. string in practice? Say it one more time. What's your longest string of successful field free throws in practice? 25 in a row. Did you? Okay. And then I had to go to hit the weight, so I just want to show everybody I got the confidence back. I'm shooting well. I'm happy each day I come in here. I'm just ready to play. Demi, are you more uh, comfortable playing on or off the ball currently? Or are you good at point doing either? Uh, I'm comfortable playing both positions, but I truly like to play on the ball because I like the feeling like coming off the screens and seeing a wide open person and they shooting and make it actually makes my day. Because when today when I was hitting Mo, even though he scored on the board, I feel like I scored because I'm the one who assisted him. And it just felt good and motion coming back, dapping him up and ready to play defense. So I'd say I like to play on the ball. But I can play both. There was a lot of offensive sets that involved the big men passing as well. You feel like considering the amount of production you lost, that's going to be a team effort when it comes to passing the ball and scoring the ball. That's going to have to come from everybody instead of just a couple people. I feel like that's a lot, especially our big men. We got a lot of sets we give it to them, and we show cuts and signs. And we have great big men like Mo, John, Chris that can pass it, and we get finishes. So. It comes from everybody. Everybody has their head up. Nobody's ready to just put their head down and think it's their time to shine. Everybody actually wants each other to win. All right. Thanks, guys.